What's up everyone, this is Ray Solution, the solution for your gaming needs, and welcome back to Let's Play Imaginary Friends. So, we're back where we left off, and yeah, as you can tell, I'm in a kind of different room than what I'm usually been. This is actually my own room, and we, as I um explained in a, in another video, I was, we were kind of redi redesigning it, we gave it a new paint, well, um, a new lamp is actually right here, um, I actually did not have that plasma TV, TV before. I actually had one of those old TVs with that big behind. And I even got my PS4 set up here. So that's pretty good. And this room is actually pretty tight. The only problem is, is it's freaking hot. So I'm trying to open the window. I had my fan on earlier, but I didn't want that while I was recording. So enough about me and my own personal life. Let's get back to the game, right? All right. And that was my dog jumping out of the bed. Where is she now? Oliver. Where is Alex now? You precious best friend who made you abandon me? We grew apart. She moved away and we lost touch. Oh, really? She abandoned you? She wasn't that great of a friend after all. Man, Oliver is so obsessed with me. He's gotta, like, back off. That's not true. She was a great friend. The only friend I ever had. Through all of elementary school, we were always together. But then she left you. It wasn't her choice. Her parents got a new job across the country. Alex, I'm sorry I forgot you. Oh, Craig! Oh, no! <laughs> what? What's happening? Oh, gosh. <laughs> Where am I? I don't know. Don't ask me. Find out for yourself. Okay. Only way is forward. Of course it is. Alex? Is that Alex? Alex? It is Alex. Hello, Haley. It has been a long time. It is. So, how have you been since I left? I... I missed you so much. I was really broken and lonely when you left. Whenever I got a letter from you, it, it made me miss you more, even more. We haven't even, uh, we haven't written to each other in so long. Why is that? I stopped writing to you. You always wrote how you liked your new school and how your, how cool your new friends were. I got jealous and I felt even more lonely. Why didn't you try to get new friends? I wanted to, but no one wanted to be friends with me. That's not true. What? It's not true that no one wanted to be friends with you. You just never let them come close to you. Don't you remember when you started middle school? Hi. Haley, was it? Wasn't it? Huh? My name is Johanna. Johanna? Johanna. But you can call me Joe. Nice to meet you. It's cool to finally start middle school. It's gonna be the best time of our lives, right? At least that wasn't what my brother said. Okay. Anyway, I've gotta go. See you tomorrow, Haley. Wow, you completely ignore that girl, Haley. Don't be such a douchebag and a loner. Come on! Wow, you have a Tim... Tim Tail notebook? Yeah? Is she making fun of me? I would've never... I've never guessed that you liked that, too. I love that show. Some say it's kid stuff, but I think that it suits for anyone. The characters are so much fun and the animation is great. What's not to love? Hey, do you want to go to the library and do our English assignment together? I'm kind of busy today. Oh, that's okay. Let's hang out together after school some other time. She was trying to make friends with you and there was like a bug on my neck or something. I don't know. <laughs> You're kidding, right, Joe? No, I'm not. It's all true. I'm hungry. Should we grab s go grab some lunch? Yeah, I'm starving. Let's go then. Hey, Haley, you want to come eat with us? I'm fine. Oh, okay. If you're sure. Come on, Haley! You always say that you're alone! Douche! It's not that no one wanted to be friends with you. It was... 
You who wouldn't let them be friends with you. Yeah, Haley, it's all your fault! It's all your fault from the very freaking beginning. I never noticed that she was trying to befriend me. I was so blind. Yeah, you were! I'm a dumbass! Okay, I'm sorry. I, I, I'll, I'll stop getting mad at Haley. <laughs> I just kept wishing you would come back. You kept focusing on how lonely you were and forgot to actually look for friends. Sometimes you can't just wait for people to talk to you. Sometimes you have to be the one to make the first move. I understand. Haley, we may not be friends anymore, but that doesn't mean you have to be alone. You have to move on and pursue new friendships, just like I did. I'm not really good at making friends. I don't know if I can do it. It's okay. You just do your best and don't give up. Besides, you already made me your friend. Now go back home, Haley, and remember that only you can put an end to your loneliness. Home! I'm finally back home! My freaking neck. Oh, Haley! <laughs> Why was that? That was like an old man voice. Oh, Haley! I was just coming to see you. That's still a guy voice, but whatever. Mom! It's nice to see you outside your room for a change. I was going to ask you to come to the grocery store with me and Timmy. Huh? But didn't we? Never mind. It was all a mystical dream! <laughs> Sorry, I, I can't right now. I'm not really happy that you just sit inside all day. No, Mom, I'll come, but there's one thing I want to do really quick. Just give me a half an hour. Sure, we, we don't have to go right away. If half an hour is what gets you outside for a while, fine by me. Thanks, Mom. Ooh, where I'm going? Where am I where, where I'm going? Where am I going? Hi, Joanna. How was your summer vacation? Hi, Haley. I'm surprised to hear from you. I think you have never messaged me. XD! <laughs> the vacation has been nice. How's yours? It's okay. Haven't been enjoying sun much. <laughs> Same here. Just been watching TV and chilling inside. Same. Hey, I was wondering if you wanted to hang out sometime. Oh, there's some, still some summer left. Hey, yeah, that'd be cool. Are you doing anything tomorrow? My parents are away, so I'll be just bored at home. Tomorrow is fine for me. Ah, she's making friends! Finally! Gosh, damn, it's about time. Oh, and that's the end! Wow! I didn't know we were that close. But yes, that's the end. Thank you, Manny Tsu. And Esoteric. Music was gosh damn good for um uh this type of game sound effects by vivian riapalo also did a wonderful job let me let me just let me just praise all the creators here come on give me more special thanks ariana moyle for proofreading thank you for proofreading i guess playtesters thank you look at the names they're right there and main screen main screen main screen main screen main screen main screen oh this game is for all childhood friends, real or imaginary, who we have lost touch over time. So, there you guys go. If you have lost any friends or real or fake, um, that's for you. You know, they might not be your friends anymore. They might be gone. They might be deceased. You know, which is one of the terrible situations. Um, but hopefully, inside your heart, you still care about them and. You're thinking about them and you're thinking that they're okay wherever they may be so yeah okay with that touching thing that they said ending number three new friendships oh there's there's different endings i guess how would you how would you get other endings that's my question i guess you guys can, whoa okay guess we're not ending this quite yet oh gosh oliver is sad Haley, you're not coming, right? Oh, fudge. I forgot about Oliver. <laughs> Shit! Ah, fuck! <laughs> Even though you promised, I'll be waiting here until you come. Ah, oh, no! I'll wait. Ah, oh, fudge! Ah, shiz. So, I guess there's a way to get Oliver back. I didn't know, I didn't know the path or how to protect. I'm not sure. But you guys, I'm pretty sure I left a link on either the first few episodes. You guys try it out for yourself. If you guys make uh, find the different endings, please tell me. I would love to watch it. I would literally love to see what happens. I would be, I would be 
uh, interested to see what happens. Um, but yeah. Other than that, I'm actually going to end my playthrough here with that ending of New Friends. But let me talk about the game for a few seconds. Um, the audio was good. The art was, you know, rpg istic But I like that kind of style. So that kind of matches with me. Um, the few problems that I had with this game are the, the number of puzzles. The puzzles were very difficult. You know, they didn't... You, you kind of had to find it all out of your own. You know, you could... You could be stuck for 30 minutes to an hour, and and sometimes it's just one puzzle, which is okay. Sometimes it's many puzzles. Like when you're in the school, there are so many freaking puzzles. They don't give you any clue on what to do or whatsoever, so you're going to spend a lot of time doing those puzzles. So, I mean, that's something that can be dealt with. I mean, if you're patient, I'm not patient. But I was able to deal with it, you know, um, for the story. The story was alright, it wasn't like mind-blowing, but it was amazing. The the thing that I would like to applaud this game for is it's kind of a, it's it's, it's message that it brings, and I, I really enjoy that message, and I believe that the message was that there's friends out there for anyone, and that, that, that includes anyone watching anyone, you, the viewer, the viewer, there are friends out there for you, you know, there will be people that care for you, even though it might seem like things are all crap, and I'm sorry for swearing, and things might seem terrible, there are people out there for you, people somewhere, I, I, I feel it, I feel it in my heart, but honestly, yeah, there are people that would care for you, there are just those amazing, wonderful people that just have a kind heart, and, um, I have some of them in my life, and hopefully you guys too, or hopefully, hopefully someone will come into your life and be that person, um, but yeah, those people are just amazing, they really think carefully about you, and they really are your friends, so, keep your friends close, not your enemies closer, <laughs> I guess that's what I'm trying to say, because your friends really hold a special thing, special place in your heart, and, uh, if you realize that, that you guys could be really friends for a long time, and, you know, uh, that might be an advantage for you in the future, so, yeah. And, you know, I'm your friend, too. I'm anyone's friend. If they won't hurt me or kill me. That's the, that's my only, kind of my, or insult me. I have a lot of rules here. Um, they can't steal my stuff. They can't, no, I'm kidding, guys. Uh, you guys are amazing, and I love you all, whoever you may be. If you ever need a friend, if you ever need someone to talk to, I am here for you. So, yeah. So, with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed Imaginary Friends. I quite did. I might have been frustrated sometimes, but whatever, you know. This game had a bright message and was fun throughout the whole game. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed Imaginary Friends. This has been a race solution. Check out my other videos, you know. I've done so many, and some of them hold a special meaning like this game. So... Yeah, check it out. Um, check out my video. Please subscribe and like. I would really appreciate it. Uh, I also appreciate your comments, opinions, or whatever. I really appreciate that as well. So, yeah, this has been Race Solution. And until the next video, stay amazing as always. You got a friend in me. Sayonara, everyone. <laughs>